Hunter Graham. Uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, to you and all those under your command, thank you for uh, what you do in protecting our nation. I cannot thank you and those who serve in Afghanistan enough. Thank you, sir. Uh, you mentioned in your testimony that you see a change in Russian behavior for the worse. Is that correct? Yes, Senator. So what do you think their goals are in Afghanistan? Why are they changing? Senator, I think their goal is to undermine the United States and NATO in Afghanistan. Okay. I agree with you. <laughs> what about Iran? Sir, the, uh, of course, the, the, the uh, Iran also, but it's a little more complex. So there are mutual interests that Iran and Afghanistan share, water rights, commerce. We welcome the recent economic treaty between Iran, Afghanistan, and India on the Charbahar port. We think this offers Afghanistan an economic alternative to, uh, to going through Pakistan. So they have backyard issues. Yeah, yes, sir. But they also have a strategic goal of stopping democracy, wouldn't you? Would you agree? Sir, I, I do think they, they, their actions are undermining the Afghan government, uh, similar to what the Russians are doing. Is they it fair to say the Iranians do not want a democracy on their, their border? Sir, I think it would be a threat to them. Okay. Do you think, generally speaking, the Afghans um, want democracy? Yeah, yes, Senator. They want a representative form of government. They have a form of social democracy that's existed for centuries and centuries. But in a, in a democracy that they're practicing now is relatively new to the country. Is that it fair is, to say? Yes, Senator. And it's hard. Yeah, oh, absolutely. It's hard here. <laughs> Sir. We need to be patient with people in Afghanistan because they're just starting a process we've been yes, doing for 200 years. Uh, can we win? Yes, sir. Briefly describe what winning would look like. Sir, number one, the presence of our enduring CT platform protects our homeland, number one. I think the... So uh, winning for America is to have a footprint in Afghanistan to protect the homeland against terrorist organizations in the region. Yes, sir. And they're willing to do that? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Okay. They, they, want, they call this their foundational partnership. Okay. So President. that's winning for us, winning for them. Yes, sir. Continue. Sir, it would involve the destruction of al-Qaeda in Afghanistan, the destruction of Islamic State in Afghanistan, uh, helping the Afghan government to expand its control over the population. Is it fair to say that most Afghans want the same thing when yes, it sir. comes to al-Qaeda? Yes, sir. So we're aligned with the Afghan people? Yes, sir. So that's winning for them and winning for us. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, the, uh, the Taliban are the ones who are connected to al-Qaeda. The Afghan people, 87% of them, think a return to Taliban rule would be bad for the country. Do you believe that we should designate the Taliban as a terrorist organization? Sir, that's a, that's a conversation I need to have with my, with my chain of command of the organization. They are definitely our enemy in Afghanistan. Uh, it's fair to say that Taliban aided uh, bin Laden dramatically. Absolutely. So if we designated them as a terrorist organization, would you have more authority when it comes to engaging them? Uh, sir, if I was granted those authorities by the administration, I would. <clears throat> would you use them if you were granted those? Absolutely. Authorities? Do you think that could change the momentum on the battlefield? It would help, sir. Okay. Um, what does losing look like? Sir, losing would be uh, an attack emanating from this region against our homeland or our allies. Is that possible if we leave? Absolutely. Yes, Is sir. it likely if we leave? I think so, sir. It's just a matter of time. Okay. So when it comes to staying, do you feel like you have the ability now to ask for more troops? I think the conversation is uh, open to that, yes, sir. Do you think this administration is more open to troops from what you can tell in the early stages? Sir, I think my, my initial impression, and again, these conversations are ongoing, is that uh, we're open to a discussion of an objectives-based approach, a conditions-based approach. Rather than an uh, artificial number. Yes, sir. So your goal is for the chain of command to convey to our new president that the best thing that could happen for our success in Afghanistan is to have troop levels married against the objectives. Yes, sir, against the objectives and the conditions on the ground. And the objective is to win. Yes, sir. The objective is to stop terrorism from cr being growing over there to attack us here at home. The objective is to keep Afghan stable and on a trajectory of a rule of law, democratic nation. Is that correct? Yes, sir. You believe you can do that with less than 50,000 troops? Yes, sir. You believe you could do that with less than 30,000 troops? So that's a conversation I need to have with, with my chain of command, but, but yes. That would be my is opinion. it fair to say, General, that success in Afghanistan will be judged not 
based on the day we leave, but what we leave behind. Yes, sir. And you think we can leave behind a stable Afghanistan? Yes, sir. Thank you.